Alrighty. Good morning, ladies. Ugh. And oh, I need gas. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, icy parking lot this morning. It is a nice crisp 541. All you can see is my hand. I'm turning my wheel. Oh yeah. Friggin' parking lot is a sheer ice this morning. Friggin' right. And we'll move the... Wait, no, I need this other hand. I gotta shift. So... I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see me. Well, I guess we're gonna test out how well this camera does in the dark light setting. But... We are on our way down to the yard. It is 542 in the morning. Ugh. We are on our way down to the yard. Load up the truck. I got the stuff over there for what I'm bringing for the week. Each new week, I you know get something new for the truck because I'll be honest with you, and a lot of you guys should have you know the majority of this crap before you get into driving truck. But uh, me, I didn't. So every week when I get paid, I get something new that I need for the truck or replenish what I've run out of or both, depending on the week. So this week was garbage can. I uh, definitely needed a garbage can. Now, yes, I did have garbage bags and I was just hanging them off this little hook by the dash. But you know what? I, no, that's no. So I get my garbage can, I can put it behind the passenger seat and I'll be happy. Had to get more plastic utensils because I was pretty well completely run dry of them. So I got no more plastic utensils, forks and knives and I think it even come with spoons. It's a whole freaking uh, kit thingamajiggy. It's got like 50 forks, 50 spoons, 50 knives or something like that anyhow. But, uh, and then, uh, more, uh, plastic plate bully type things. They're, I believe they are actually bowls, but how they're formed, it's, you, you can use them as a bowl or a plate. So I just got them because kill two birds with one stone, right? So, all right, we're just... Going down, we're gonna hit up Timmy Hortons before we get to the yard. Always gotta have my Timmy's. I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. So we gotta have the coffee, get that in. Uh, oh, yep, a little spin this morning. And we're off to Brampton this morning. We're gonna deliver our load into Brampton. And now we're, actually we're just dropping our load in Brampton at the customer, it's a regular of ours. We just drop our full trailers there and if they have an empty, we take an empty. But in my case, I was told to, on Friday, I was told to bobtail out of there. Okay, fine. So we're bobtailing from the customer in Brampton and we are going down to our Cambridge yard, which if most of you don't already know is the head office there in Cambridge. Oh, first gear. Is the first is the head office there in Cambridge. Whee. And then uh, grab our load out of that yard. And then we are heading down to Danville, Pennsylvania, which is off of I-80 there in PA, down off of uh, just east of Williamsport. So actually we'll end up getting down there tonight. Deliver first thing tomorrow morning. And then from there, we are going to East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania to pick up our reload. What? I have no idea. And then from there, we are bringing that back to 
ooh, ooh, on ramps a little icy this morning. And from there, we are bringing that back to London Yard. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Ooh, hello. Yeah, we're. That on ramps a little icy this morning. Jeepers, creepers, man. I think this whole freaking road's a little lacy this morning. We're just gonna take our time. We're gonna grab one more gear. All right. Now we're just gonna take our time. So, anyways, guys, I will see you guys down at the yard. Alrighty. So we've made her to the yard. Security guards over there sleeping in his freaking car. I do believe. So we are looking. Four. I have a feeling it's going to be in the far east yard. 600. Oh, son of a gun. There it is right there. That is the right one, right? Uh, let's double check. 600. 841. That'd be it right there. Cool. I don't got to go freaking searching for it. That's freaking awesome. And we're gonna put the diff lock on. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why the hell did you just put the diff lock on? Well, because this yard, I'll show you in a second when we get out. This is gonna be a fairly long video too, guys. I'm warning you right now. Well, hopefully, as long as my battery will last because I don't have a charger for the truck for this camera. And, oh crap, I'm crooked, I'm crooked. Oh, 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 we didn't lock. Oh, what a, what a, that tells me one thing. That tells me one thing. We hit it and we didn't lock. Ah, ah yeah, yeah, we we're just a little high. So, back here. Grab my glove. Now, being that the seat, 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 seat. Eight for one. And then we check. Okay, this one was done in Quebec, so it was done in the 13th year, the 11th month. So it was done in November 2013, so it's good till November 2014. The exact same principle as the Ontario ones, except this one says Quebec, because we do have a whoa it's slippery spot we do have a yard in quebec okay which way is down probably this way Ugh. oh we do have a yard in quebec that has authorization from the quebec government to certify our trailers so let's crank this down some yep that should be good didn't have to go much but you know some hey 600 841 yay it's one of our older trailers so this one gets inspected with a fine tooth comb even though it was just recertified. Its annual was done. Okay. Oh. All right. Tug test. What the? Oh, the sad part is, is I heard it go click. I heard it go click. See, it went and clicked, the handle went in. But it didn't lock. Okay, why is it being a pig this morning? Put that window down just a little bit more. There we go. Oh! 
What the hell? Again, okay, hold on guys. I'm going to have to figure this out because this is annoying as hell. Okay, so now that all the horse crap is out of the way, I did manage to get it hooked up. I don't know what its problem was. Not enough weight on it or something. I don't know. But you remember when I said I put the truck, I locked the diffs to get more traction because this yard is just ice right now and without it, you ain't getting underneath any trailers. Well, I didn't hit that switch. I thought I did. It felt like I did. It felt like the top switch. My own fault for not actually looking before I pinned to the trailer, which is a good indication of maybe why it wouldn't hook up. But over here, I have, hold on, I'm get you some more light. Hey, look at that. Over here, I have three switches. That's the suspension dump, the bottom one. Fifth wheel slide, which is uh, the middle one there. And the inner axle lock, the diff, which is the top one, which is the one I thought I hit. No, I hit the fifth wheel slide. Yep, I unlocked the fifth wheel, which sucked big times. However, I think to uh, my benefit, it actually didn't move, so I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like it actually moved. So with this load though, I'm not too concerned because it's not very heavy at all. So, but the one I pick up in Cambridge, I will definitely be checking it because I know what it is. And uh, yeah, it's going to be heavy. It's probably going to be around 40,000, 42,000. So, but anyways, we got the majority of the paperwork all done. There's my, uh, trip jacket so I can get paid the envelopes with the bills and such in it which yeah you guys can't see but what you can see and there's my logbook up there which is all ready to go cafe au lait breakfast over there we're good to go except for this now a lot of you guys probably already know what this is this is my Qualcomm so I'm just doing my loaded call here from the yard so we're going to go, this is a macro 2, live load, no, because I picked up the trailer, driver assist. Do this here, no. Oh man, I'm a, okay, we're going to do this here. Bill of lading number. Oh, I got to grab the other envelope here. Is do, 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 oh. Do, do, do. Uh. Oh, wait, what? Three, seven. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this guy's handwriting sucks. Three, do, do. Okay. Oh, wait. Shipper. Oh, crap. Never mind. I put that in the wrong area. Shipper's reference number, which is the order number, which is how I get paid. Zero. Four, do, do. All right. Now the bill of lading number. Jeez, guys. Why didn't you freaking tell me? Okay, wait. This is why I'm not concerned. Do, 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 do. Pieces, there's 60 pieces. Seal. Okay, hold on. You guys can't see this part. Okay, so basically, I just put the seal number in there. It's non-hazardous. I don't know if there's any logistics in the trailer because it is customer sealed. Um, so anyhow. Uh, ETA date and time, 01, today's date, which is the 12th, and time, you got to use freaking army time, it is, we're going to be leaving at 7, 8, 9, we're going to go 0930, that's when I should be there, and then down here, you just type in the comments, cust, sealed, CNT for can't, CHK for check, LD for load. That just covers your butt, and then they know you can't check the load. Pick up current trailer is 600. Uh, 841. And do I have customs? Yes, I do. And then we hit this lovely send button over here. And then, yes, we want to send it. Boom, bada bing, bada bing. So now they know I'm loaded and I'm leaving. Hey, there's one of those owner-operator guys coming in. So anyways, guys, off we go to Brampton. All righty. Hello, Meadowville, Ontario. Otherwise known as Mississauga. Yeah, we're in Mississauga. 
It's been a pretty uh, uneventful drive this morning, actually. It's been really quiet. I mean, it is Sunday, but I mean, you know, usually there's some activity, but no, it's been really, really quiet this morning, which is good news for me because that, you know, then I get there faster. I get there faster, get it off faster, my day goes along a lot smoother. And I like it when it goes on a lot smoother. And I don't have massive, you know, three hour traffic delays, because that really sucks. I mean, nothing you can do about it, but it sucks a lot. So, yeah, yeah. Pretty uneventful. We're coming up here to the well, right here shortly. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Son of a gun. You know, done that suck. Oh well. Cut off to the beginning of the collectors here momentarily. And then we are gonna take not the first but the second exit. Because the first is here, Ontario. The second would be the 410. Which is what I want. And we jump on the 410 and go up to, I think it's like Beaubert or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to this customer. It's been a while. I forget and stuff. I think it's Beaubert. I don't know. Find out here in a second. I'll keep. I think I got lucky. I don't think my fifth wheel actually moved because I would have been able to tell when driving, right? So I did think I got lucky and it didn't move. So that's awesome. But, and what's not so awesome, well, what's awesome and not so awesome all at the same time is what's awesome is they've already got my customs paperwork done and I already have my entry number to get into the US of A. So that's freaking awesome. What sucks is I might have to go see FDA now. It's Sunday, so chances of going to see FDA, I don't think are going to happen. I think FDA on Sunday is only open till noon. So, oh, why thank you. Speed limit is being reduced ahead, apparently. Look at that. See, I think it's uh, they're only open until noon on Sunday, which is... That's good, because then now and then I won't have to go see FDA and get the... Please back it into a dock. We want to have a look at your load. And I'm just going to be like, no. I do not want you to look at my load. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys have this GPS. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a bit here. There we go. I know a lot of you guys have this GPS. And I have a question. Because, uh, yeah, I haven't quite been able to figure it out. How do you permanently avoid a road now there's a road here in uh, southern Ontario called the 407 and it is a toll road so in other words we gotta pay to drive on that particular highway uh, we do not have the transponder for that uh, highway so I can never go on it but you know the GPS always routes me to take the 407 even though I can't take it and it's quite annoying actually to be honest with you so I just wanted to know if anybody of you guys knew ugh, how to permanently avoid a road like where's the setting or how do you do it because yeah I'm not quite familiar so yeah, if you guys know, leave a message or a comment in the thingamajig below. Or send me a message or something or video response or I don't know, whatever you feel like doing. And then yeah, we'll be able to I'll be able to avoid that. And then it won't be like you can take this road and I'm gonna be like, no, I cannot take that road. But anyways, yeah, thanks. Alrighty. Drop has been made. We are now Bobtail. 
Zeep, no trailer, pop tail. And we are on our way back to our Cambridge yard, which is the main uh, terminal yard thingamajiggy. So about an hour to get back there. So that's, that's not too bad. And yeah, load I'm taking is exactly what I thought it was, so. It's exactly what I thought it was. So, I'm gonna be fat. Apparently it's like 43,000 pounds or something, so. I'm probably, you know, go pick it up and then I'll go scale. See how fat I am. And we'll go from there. But, I'm not gonna do any filming on the way back there, so until uh, we get there, uh, see you guys in Cambridge. Oh, come on, focus. Holy crap. Ooh. Got some spinny spinny. All right, so here we are. Cambridge Yard. All these fancy trucks. Those are some of the new ones right there, the new internationals. Apparently, they're not doing so well. Oh, they only bought like 10 of them. So. We are making our way over to where they have the trailers. Down over here. Someone hide it on me. It's not very nice. Oh, there it is. Someone hit it on me. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, and it's dropped low. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, I can already tell she's dropped low. All right. Yes. See? Diff lock. Not fucking fifth wheel. All right. She's dropped low. This is going to suck. I might have to crank her up some. That is pure ice right here. Oh, damn. Yeah, see. So, little trick. We roll ahead. We're gonna dump our air. Cause yeah, as you can tell, this is all just pure, pure ice. You know, pure, pure ice. See them, those big trailers down there, them fancy pants. Um, trombone ones, way down over there. Those are the ones that do those windmill. Okay, we should be all the way lower now. We're gonna try and hit it again. Oh, I thought I put it in gear. Okay, we're gonna raise it back up. Okay, we're hooked. Now, I already know my headlights worked. Do the free trip. Alrighty. We are got our load. There she be. 43,000 and change. Yeah, she's a heavy one. Make her turn. Like so. We go to the rodeo. Well, not really. Pennsylvania, anyhow. Probably gonna stop in briefly in Fort Erie at uh, the brand new Flying J that they got down there. Down there at Fort Erie. Do my. Oh. Thanks. 
Um, where I'm going to do my half hour break. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on this side of the border or get across the border, then do it. I don't know. Might do it. Well, I'm, well, might go to the other side of the border, then do it because they got Timmy's there on the 90s. So, yeah, we're heavy, but that's okay. Well, not really. I'm going to burn a lot of fuel. But anyhow, guys, we'll check back at you later. Burka! They let me in. So now we are in the U.S. of A. Oh, just going through Buffalo, New York. On I-190. Southbound. Eastbound, southbound. I don't know, whatever bound. On our way to the 90 eastbound. And then we'll run that across to Rochester. Where we will, or sorry, not Rochester. My bad. Oh, wait, is it Rock, Syrac Syracuse? No, no, Rochester. That's right, Rochester. Oh my goodness, I'm getting my Rochesters and my Syracuses backwards. But, so, run that over to Rochester and grab I 390 South, which will drop us into Pennsylvania on. Alright, sorry about that, guys. There is a. Uh, a state trooper sitting in the center median and I do not as you can tell have a, uh, a camera mount yet for the truck so I have to hold said camera and drive which you know isn't a problem I just point the camera out the damn window or through the window more or less and concentrate on driving and to speak but anyways uh, where were we oh yeah grab the 390 south to the 15, US 15 in Pennsylvania, down to Williamsport, and jump on the I-180, which is the bypass around Williamsport, down to the 80, which is where we will be are doing our resting, well, not quite Williamsport, we're going a little, a little further than Williamsport, but there's a truck stop that is going to be 13 kilometers, so roughly five miles, from uh, my uh, customer for tomorrow morning, so that's freaking awesome. So I'm going to be like 20 minutes, if that, away, which is perfect. Go deliver there, and then uh, we're an hour and a half, roughly, over to the reload. And then I think it's like seven and a half hours or eight hours or something like that back to uh, our yard in London. So, yeah. It's going to be a good day. So, once we get down somewhere where something might be interesting, then uh, yeah, I'll flick the camera back on. All right, so we're just getting off the 90 and we got to go and we got to pay our toll. So we'll just creep on over here to the number two. And I'm fancy. I got an easy pass. Company pays for this tollway. I don't gotta pay for anything when it comes to this one. And this goes ding. Thank you. Green light for goal. Oh. Why, thank you. Alrighty, guys, so as you can tell, I'm no longer driving and the curtains are drawn and you're probably seeing a little bit more than just my face, but oh well. Um, we are in Milton, Pennsylvania in Northumberland County. Um, oh, and now I'm getting messages. At the uh, Pen 80 truck stop, Flying J, whatever you feel like calling it. Um, sorry, I didn't film anymore on the trip down going down through steam valley i ended up running in actually uh, running into uh a guy who i used to work with believe it or not and him and i got talking on the radio and then next thing you know it's i haven't shot anything in like forever so we are here we are about to have dinner i'm being super lazy tonight i shouldn't but i am and it's a subway night so we deliver tomorrow morning. I'm like 13 kilometers, so like six miles. 
from the customer, which is awesome. So hopefully my battery will last throughout tomorrow and I will shoot tomorrow, but it'll be the end of today anyhow. So until tomorrow, guys, uh, we shall talk at you later. See ya.